We are now with Captain Arno from the 35F squadron flying the Dauphin helicopter. Arno, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for welcoming us. You're welcome. What are your main missions? Our main mission is uh, mainly search and rescue. Uh, we have two types of search and rescue. The first one with the Dolphin F that you see behind me is the rescue from uh, the fighter pilot on the aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle. Uh, so those two aircraft are uh, embarked on the carrier every time uh, for every single mission and uh, we stay nearby to, just in case of, uh, of a bailout of a, of a fighter jet. The other dolphin of the 35F is our used more on a civilian rescue mission uh, on, a French, on, a, on the French coast. Uh, we have three, um, three stations, three SAR stations in France, and we have as well one station in uh, Tahiti in French Polynesia with two dolphins a bit more uh, younger than those one. They are able to make the mission, to make the search and rescue mission all over French Polynesia around the Europe size. Arno, how many dolphins do you have in total at the 45F squadron? We have 11 dolphins total, uh, four to five in the technical segment, and uh, the rest, uh, two are deployed in Tahiti, uh, two on the carrier, and four to five here in France. Uh, over the coastline. What about you? What, do you? what is your role on board the helicopter? On the helicopter, I'm a captain for a day and night mission. So recently, I was on the carrier for the for the rescue for the rescue mission of the fighter pilot. How challenging is it to fly the dolphin at night? At night, the main challenge is to be able to uh, catch to pilot the transition from a normal flight to a hover flight. Hovering at night must be done at night over the, over the sea, so without any reason. This dolphin is uh, nearly 30 years old, and the autopilot is not a, a very modern one without any GPS, and you need to, be very, to manage it and to monitor it very closely to, uh, to avoid um, a disorientation. Uh, very low over the over the sea because when we uh, hover uh, hover mission, we are at 70 feet uh, over the sea, like in a black bubble, and we we don't have any uh, any um, any references about uh, the instrument. Arno, uh, the dolphin will be replaced in a few years by the HIL. Are you looking forward to that next generation helicopters and are you hoping it will bring new capabilities for search and rescue missions? Yes, we hope so. That's going to be a big, big step for us. Like uh, it's, uh, it's a 30 years, uh, 30 years technology step. So we expect it. Most of the pilots wait for and uh, look forward to fly, uh, to fly over this HIL. It's not easy for us 10 years before, before it arrives to know what will be the, the, the capacity, but uh, also everything about uh, GPS link and the capacity to carry more people, more payload and, uh, and faster. It's basically things that we, that we expect because we feel the, 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 the weight of the years over those, uh, those helicopters. <laughs>